So you're about to be a star. Two years and you didn't know I'll be free. Gas station champagne is on me. Edgar cannot pay rent for me. Zero dot, zero, zero, zero dot, zero, zero, zero dot, zero, zero, three. At least it pays to be funny. Your reason fly away Been carrying you way too long Like an obsession I thought you were a living part of me But I got my power in my hand You hold no power over me And I take my power Let the love shower over me. Oh, 
Sei in un posto del mio cuore dove il sole è sempre spento Dove a volte ti perdo, ma se voglio ti prendo Siamo fermi in un tempo così, che solleva le strade Con il cielo ad un passo da qui, siamo i mostri e le fate Dovrei telefonarti, dirti le cose che sento Ma ho finito le scuse, e non ho più difese siamo un libro sul pavimento in una casa vuota che sembra la nostra Il caffè con limone contro l'engover sembri una foto mossa E ci siamo fottuti ancora una notte fuori un locale E meno male Se questa è l'ultima canzone poi la luna esploderà Sarò gli a dirti che sbagli, ti sbagli, lo sai Qui non arriva la morte e tu non dormi e dove sarai, dove vai, quando la vita poi esagerà Tutte le corse, gli schiaffi, gli sbagli che fai, quando qualcosa ti agita Tanto lo so che tu non dormi, 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 dormi mai Che giri fanno due vite siamo i soli svegli in tutto l'universo A gridare un po' di rabbia sopra un tetto Che nessuno si sente così Che nessuno li guarda più i film I fiori nella tua camera La mia maglia metallica Siamo un libro sul pavimento In una casa vuota che sembra la nostra Persi tra le persone con te parole Senza mai una risposta E ci siamo fottuti ancora una notte fuori all'oca Se questa è l'ultima canzone poi la luna esploderà Sarò gli a dirti che sbagli, ti sbagli e lo sai Qui non arriva la musica E tu non dormi e dove sarai, dove vai Quando la vita poi esagerà 
giri fanno due vite due vite a scary time is with me I hit it well since 16 and all the crying all the fighting you get putting out the fire that burns so bright within me as i look back through all these years to broken dreams the skies and fear being someone that i'm really not now i am drowning in my bed and life has gone out of my hands happiness is further than the mind just stay to taste it and embrace it all the bitterness of failure to find myself within me just You love to do me wrong I miss your kiss Gasoline on the matchstick Red lights, flashes Rising out of the ashes But I see you For who you are But you can't break A broken heart You lift me up and leave me in the garden You tear me up and move to another I'm torn apart but I am a survivor You can't, you can break Get broken up You lift me up and leave me in the garden You tear me up and move to another I'm torn apart but I am a survivor You can't, you can break your broken heart You can break your broken
Мама купила трактора. Мама купила трактора. Тройна мина Армагедонона. Мама купила трактора. Мама купила трактора. Мама купила трактора. Тройна мина Армагедонона. Мама любила морона. Мама любила морона. Мама любила морона. Тройна мина Армагедонона. Standing on the front line Where do we go? We go I don't wanna be a soldier, soldier I don't wanna have to play with real blood We ain't playing now Can turn around No water guns No, no I don't wanna be a soldier, soldier I don't wanna have to play with rules nothing hurts when you're bulletproof I remember yes I do I do
it's time to say goodbye until we meet again cause this is not the end there will come a day when we will find a way diamonds playing and the angels crying when the stars Take it cool You got my heart in your head Don't lose it, my friend It's all that I got Silence playing And the angels crying When the stars are lined And I'll be there No one will care about the moon Cause someone is still be loved And all I care about is you for me It's not gonna be like I got to This is not the end There will come a day When we will find a way Diamonds playing And the angels crying When the stars are lined And I'll be there No one will care about the moon Cause someone is still be love And all I care about is you Take it cool. You got my heart in your head. Don't lose it, my friend. It's all that I got. Silence playing and the angels crying. When the stars are lined, and I'll be there. Yeah. Nice to see you guys. Good evening. Good night. Congratulations. I know, we're, I know we're not Lorene, but we could get a bit of a better applause than that. Yeah. Woo. Thank you. Welcome to the grand final winners press conference for the Eurovision Song Contest 2023 here in Liverpool. <laughs> Amazing. Um, for the last time. My name is Maria. <laughs> yes, indeed. My name is Jermaine. And do not worry, we will not keep you waiting. So let us welcome the winner 
of the Eurovision Song Contest 2023, Lorraine from Sweden! <laughs> Guys, she just won Eurovision. <laughs> amazing. Yeah, keep doing that. Amazing, that amazing. Okay. <laughs> Flags, oh my gosh. Congratulations, congratulations. But before we start with questions, welcome here on the stage, Martin Estadal. <laughs> Thank you. Just Hi there. Hello, darling. I'd just like to say on behalf of the EBU and the 37 participating broadcasters tonight, a huge congratulations to Sweden and to SVT. You've made history tonight, right? <laughs> you, are, you have now tied Ireland in the all-time list of wins. And Lorraine, you are the first female performer to win twice. <laughs> As the tradition goes, I here have the so-called welcome pack that I will hand over to the head of delegation, Lotta Furebeck, and congratulate you. This is, contains the information that you need to start to think about what's going to happen potentially somewhere in your country next year. I it's the how-to manual on setting up a Eurovision Song Contest. It also contains a video of me talking about how to set up the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> but you've heard me say all these things before, I think. And, you know, I'm only a phone call away. Me and my team from the EBU will be happy to help you with that. But that's for later. Tonight is all about Lorraine and her wonderful team of songwriters. Congratulations, Lorraine. Well done. Thank you so much, Martin Estadal. Now, yes, of course, well we've of course we've been here all week, so we know how this works. We've got plenty of world press here in the audience. We've got people watching us online as well. If you have any questions, just raise your hand, we'll get to you. And if you have any questions online, please get them into us. Before we start, do we have any press here from Sweden? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you know I'm what? Here. Yeah. I'm gonna go to you first because you were you were there waving and then we'll come to you after. Well, hey, my beautiful Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Eva from Expressen. I know. Yeah. <laughs> As Martin just said, you've made history tonight. Yeah. How does it feel when you hear that, and how does it, that make you feel? It, you know, right now, everything feels surreal. Like, I, I can't really, you know, I'm seriously overwhelmed. So you have to ask me that question tomorrow, darling. <laughs> 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 this is so beautiful. I, I, you know, one feeling that I have in my body, it's like, and it's taken over. It's just gratitude. I feel so thankful to all of you guys. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have another question down here. We can get to a mic right over here. <clears throat> Hi, Lorian. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Be it wasn't nice. me, man. It was him, okay? <laughs> Swedish newspaper. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to your second victory in Eurovision. Thank you. When you realized that you had won, how proud did, did that make you feel that you are the only and first woman that has ever won the Eurovision twice? Oh, God. A deep question, darling. You know what? Um, I feel, I, you know, I feel proud. You're not gonna like my answer, but I'm, 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 I feel proud of you guys because the performance have, it has certain values, you know? We come with certain values. It's the na it's nature, it, it's a constructive performance. It's about hope, it's about self-love, it's about strength, and you know? And these are things that I believe in, and I guess when it resonates with people, I guess it's things that you guys believe in, and so I'm very proud over all of us. 
I'm serious now. <laughs> How will you celebrate tonight? What was that? How will you celebrate tonight? Well, you know, I've been longing for that glass of wine and arrabbiata for six months now, so it's going to happen, okay? <laughs> they better not close the, ch the kitchen, man. Yeah. Let's have a question from online, from uh, Shaun Moore. Uh, can you sum up this Eurovision experience compared to 2012? Well, you know, 2012, I, ev everything was new at the, for me. Like, I, I was a very naive girl. I didn't know what to expect, you know, and, and so, so. But this time, you know, it's like, you've heard this a million times, but it's like, it's like coming back to a family. Like, hi guys, we've had an 11 year long relationship. We know each other by now. So it's, it's more, it, this experience was more, motherly and effortless like it was just, it just a nice flow man yeah mm -hmm. did you yeah. like that answer yeah <laughs> i will ask uh, <laughs> i like it <laughs> they I like deleted it. him I like, already I like <laughs> uh, we have a, we have a few questions yeah. here one of the front hey. one hi lorin congratulations hey. hello my greek darling <laughs> So I'm Andrea Papayanait from Mad TV and EurovisionFan.com, Greece. Yeah. So uh, half of my question is done by Tobe Achtenbladet. So I'm going to do the other half. <laughs> I knew you was trouble, man. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. So uh, today you've just equaled the victories of Ireland. Mm. So Sweden and Ireland have the same number of victories. How do you feel about this? Answer. Yeah, I, I mean, it feels, as I said, it feels surreal. But now that, that, that you're asking me the question and I go in and I feel, it feels wonderful. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, it is. And next hey. year, see you in Sweden, of course. It better be Stockholm, man. We need to talk about it. It better be Stockholm. <laughs> <laughs> let's, not le let's not let Neta uh, predict the city. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's have a question from here, please. Hey, Nimrod from East London. In the US, the president can only run twice for office. Do you think no one should be allowed to run more than twice to Eurovision in the future? <laughs> that should be the limit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, you, was that, oh, oh, sorry, was that a question? The limit should be just twice and no more than that for future people competing in Eurovision. Was that a question or did, no. I'm asking if you think there should be no more what than you know? two <laughs> term in the future. I don't know. I might come back in the, another time. No, no, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. You know what, I, I honestly, it's all about creativity. Oh. It's about uh, performing. It's not, I mean, I know the competition is there and it's, it, it's important because it includes everybody, you know? But at the end of the day, it's about, it's about creativity. It's about us creators sending something out to you guys. So I don't think there should be a limit on that. So I'm doing it even more. <laughs> no, so I don't think it's gonna be, uh, it should be a limit on that. Oh, you've gotta go for the hat trick, you've got to. <laughs> what was that? What was that? I've got a question here from Yanis Mantis online. Yeah. He says, in comparison to Euphoria, what's the new thing that Tattoo brought to Eurovision? Well, looking at it now, I think, you know, Euphoria was a very mysterious, I mean, it's not a mysterious song. Oh, it was a mysterious song, but it's a mysterious performance. Mm, very like, you couldn't really see anything. <laughs> you couldn't see my eyes, anything. And if you look at the performance now, it's very light. It's like almost like yin yang. It's very light. It's very open. It's very out there. So that's a huge difference. And I, I, I didn't do it consciously. It was just it just happened. But it's interesting, isn't it? Like euphoria was the moonlight, and um, tattoo was the sunlight. Both is needed. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I see your hand for a long time. Yes, please. Hello, Lorene. My name is Aaron. I'm a content creator from Pink News, the largest LGBTQ plus online media brand. Congratulations once again on breaking history, becoming the first ever woman to win twice, but also becoming the first openly bisexual person to come out as, to win twice as well. It's a big thing for us. So I just want to talk about next year will be hosted in Sweden. 
How important is inclusivity and accepting of the LGBT plus community in Sweden next year? How important it is? Are you looking for, uh, is it going to be an opening welcoming for LGBTQ plus people coming to Sweden next year? Is it going to be a safe space? Are you kidding me, man? I'm all about that. <laughs> of course. This whole community is about that. This whole community is about uh, diversity and inclusivity. How do you say it in English? Yeah, okay, yes. whatever. Yeah, but so, so <laughs> abso absolutely. Yeah. I can't wait either. Uh, let's go over here. I can see you. You might jump out your chair, so let's hey, continue. Hey, my name is Chacha from Yorix Israel. My question is for the songwriters. When you made the song, you you felt that you have amazing song that could win Mellow and Eurovision. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we actually said in the room. I think Thomas said like this is a winner song. <laughs> And I, we filmed it while we said it because we were like, we felt it so strongly that this is, this is something really, really good. Yes, please. Yeah, you, you, you. Yes, 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 yes. The second line. Yes. Thank you. Uh, hi, it's Diana. Hi, it's Diana from BBC Ukraine. Hey. Um, congratulations. Thank uh, you. Uh, two short questions. First one uh, from my friend from uh, Kyiv. Uh, what do your nails mean? It should mean something, yes? Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> okay. Well, they're made, n not completely, but um, they're made out of stone. And I mean, the, the performance in itself has all the elements apart from water, but then again, I'm sweating, so. <laughs> 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 no, so I just wanted to enhance the movements because I move a lot. And uh, this is energy, you know. So it just came to me, really. And uh, so I enhanced it with my nails so that you can see all the movements that I do. So, yeah, it's a spiritual thing. <laughs> it's a nomad thing. <laughs> okay, a second question. Sorry for the second one. Right. Um, we all hope that uh, the war in Ukraine will end in the near future. So uh, do you think that it would, it would be uh, fair enough to give the privilege to host uh, Eurovision uh, to the country which is supposed to have this show today, but didn't have, and uh, the country was bombed exact night when show was performing. Mm? Thank you. My darling, ask, can, I, can you ask that question yeah. again? Yeah. What so was the last uh, question? Is, uh, do you think it, uh, sorry, I'm very nervous. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. Uh, um, uh, would it be, uh, fair enough to give the privilege to host the, uh, your vision to the country, yeah. Ukraine, which... You mean like Liverpool yeah, yeah. now with Ukraine? Yeah, uh, but if the war uh, end in near future. So you mean Ukraine hosting? Yeah, in, yeah. In, in for, for instance, yes. Well, um, is that a question for me? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, I think I understand your question. I'm not sure I understand your question, but I think I understand your question. I think you mean, do you, do you believe that Ukraine should get the opportunity to host Eurovision in the future, considering they didn't get to do oh, it this okay. year? Oh, okay, in that case, absolutely, yes, of course. Why shouldn't they? I love Ukraine. I've been a lot to Ukraine. I've had a lot of shows. I love the people there, and it hurts me to see what's going on. Yeah, and I'm we sorry have for the that. same colors on uh, our flags. Let's try and get yeah. some questions so from <laughs> the back or in the middle row here. You were there in the bright pink. How about you in the middle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hello. Uh, my name is Natalia. I'm from Poland. Congratulations, Lorraine. Congratulations to all the team over here. You deserve <laughs> it. Uh, my love. <laughs> You told me on the circus carpet that you wouldn't be an artist without emotions. And what was the most beautiful thing that I heard from you that every performance bring different emotions with you. Mm. So my question is, what was the emotion during the uh, performance in the final and then during the winning performance? Was there a difference? Well, 
You see, I'm a people's person. I feel what, what energy there, there is. You know, you should see me when I rehearse and there is no audience. I suck. I'm like, I don't know what to do with myself. The moment there are people there, something happens, like speaking about emotions. And so the people, the audience, you guys, is, it's like, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> So that is basically, you know, the only thing that exists at that moment when I perform is you, if the, to me, is you and my focus on you and sending out whatever's going on inside to you guys. That's the only emotion there is on stage. <laughs> and it's afterwards where I cry or whatever, you know, all the other emotions, but... It's pretty zen coming out. Thank you. Thank you. Let's Thank have a question from online from Christian Boswell, Lorraine. You have now historically done it twice. What is the key ingredient to winning Eurovision? Mm, I think the key ingredient to any success is being authentic. And to be authentic, you need to listen to yourself, you need to know yourself. And for you to know yourself, um, you should take a step back. And um, don't ask people for advice. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I think, that, I think that is what, you know, being authentic, I think. Thank you so yeah. much. Uh, we'll go to, we got a question right here in the middle. Hey, Lorene, it's CJ from OutTV and the Dutch Eurovision podcast. I wonder, you, over this whole season, have been given a lot of awards voted by the fans, including the Out Music Award that I gave to you last week. Yeah. Did that add pressure, or did it maybe give you a bit of serenity? Because your goal was for you to touch people and inspire people. So did it add pressure or serenity? Oh, serenity, I have to say, for a moment. Like, you know, feeling thankful. Because that was the whole, the whole idea was to, you know, of course, with all creativity, you want to connect with people. But, you know, so serenity most definitely. But then I shut that thing off and then I focus on my, my purpose and what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Awesome. So did that answer your question? Yeah. Oh, Thank you so much. Please. Hi, Lorraine. I'm Oz from London. I'm Orjum Turkish. Um, first of all, Mama, we love you. Hey. We love you oh. so much. <laughs> oh um, I just have a quick question. Um, you are very spiritual and emotional. And back in the day, you said something about tattoo, that you felt something about that song that gave you the same feeling that Euphoria gave you. Mm. back in the day and you mm. wanted to do something with that song mm. and you didn't know if it was going to be Eurovision or Melody Festival and no. but you carried on. Yeah. What does your gut feeling tell to you now because I think it's probably going to be true. Um, what my gut feeling is yeah, telling me. Yeah, what do you feel right now about the future? Like what is the next step? Oh God, I don't know. Oh my God, but I... Well, my gut feeling, oh God, I don't know what my gut feeling is telling me now because I'm so overwhelmed. But uh, I'm the type of person that follows where, it, where it's joy and happiness, where there is a flow, that's where you're gonna see me. So, yeah. Um, and that's very quickly, um, I do work with um, two breweries in Clapham, and you very kindly sent us a message back in your Melo de Festival and Heat, yeah. saying hello to us um, in uh, two breweries in South London. Do you mind saying a quick hello to two breweries one more time here so that we can, all of the Clapham South London gays can be happy <laughs> again? <because laughs> <of you. laughs> to two brewers. To, to, to two what? brewers. Two brewers? Yeah. It's a gay club. <laughs> hey, okay. Hello, two brewers. It's me, Lorene. I love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks so much. No. Um, let's go here in the middle. Yeah, and then we'll go to you after that. Okay. <laughs> so, 
I'm Enrique from Spain. Um, this is your second victory. This is the seventh victory for Sweden on Eurovision. Uh. And Sweden is the third country in the world exporting music to the rest of the world. Why do you think Swedish singers are really successful on music industry? That's a good question. <laughs> 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 they should ask you guys these questions. I don't know why they ask me. Uh, Really, I don't know. I don't know if it's the bad weather or it's if it's like you know, yeah. you know, like we <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if we'd had beaches, we would probably it's sit on the beach. It's, it's dark too much in the Sweden, yeah. so <laughs> that's We're why like we have to go in the studios yeah. to write music. Especially considering there's <laughs> only nine million people living in Sweden. Yeah, well, that's a good question. I think it's the weather. I'm pretty sure it's the weather. Yeah, <laughs> we have so shitty weather that we just like let's hang in the studio, man. We don't have anything yeah. else to do. <laughs> I don't, I don't think it's the weather. We have terrible weather here, and we've only won it once. Oh, well, you guys have <laughs> amazing recently. creators Well, here. five times, excuse me, once recently. That is a good question. I've asked myself that many times. Uh, but the thing is, uh, I mean, we're very good at, I guess, pop music. But then maybe we're not as good at musicals. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> I'm not answering your question. <laughs> what time is it, man? <laughs> <laughs> almost, Sorry about that. Almost party time. Good evening. Hey. Hello, J Lorraine and Team Sweden. Congratulations for fantastic victory. Uh, also admire the uh, creativity of the songwriters, Thomas Ries and Kasipaya and all the others who were, who were there. Lorraine, I told you in Malmö, you said it through to victory in Liverpool here. Mm -hmm. um, my question now is, since you have won twice, yeah. Johnny Logan won twice, could we maybe see you both doing a project together? Hey, yeah, maybe if he wanted to, yeah. but what if he says no? <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, come on, man. He's like, no, no, can do. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. A ballad, maybe. <laughs> Deal. Yeah. Okay, please. Hi, darling. Who are you? Who's speaking? I'm here. I'm the lanky one that stands yeah. up. Oh, hey, you. <laughs> um, hi, darling. I hope you're well. Um, my name is Laura. I run a YouTube channel called Slavandic. Um, I'm basically going to be a fan girl right now, so you mean the absolute world to me. Um, you've helped me a lot through your music. Now, Thank I understand you're very spiritual. So am I, so I get that connection from you. See. Do you have like any like ritual before going on stage with like sage or crystals? And any advice on what ones to get? Because I'm clueless. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, um, different things depending on uh, the vibe of the arena. For instance, today before I went up on stage, I meditated. So I threw everybody out of the room and like I'm going to meditate here for a while. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, that's what I did. That's one thing I do. But that could be pretty boring sometimes, you know. So another thing I do <laughs> is that I, you know, I listen to s the same song. There are, there, are, there are these ancient songs that we have because, uh, you know, I'm from the Atlas Mountains. There are certain songs that we listen to. And uh, these guys are pretty tired of that song because I'm listening, it's on repeat. Like, they're like, oh my God, not this song again. But it's like... So I put a song on repeat, just to get in, 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 in a certain vibration, you know, you know, because there's a lot of distractions around, you know, and if you're going to, are you a performer? Are you, a com you are, aren't you? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, you know, hi. <laughs> no, but just to keep, you know, keep yourself clear, you know. At the end of the day, we're all creators, and our purpose is to, you know, to send out stuff, you know. This is, this is something beautiful, um, but it needs to be without distractions. So music is a good way to shake out those distractions, darling. <laughs> yeah, did that help? Oh, and some sage, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. My name is Vashavanka. My name is Sashko from Razum for Ukraine. Hey. Dear Sweden, we are very excited to visit you next year. Oh. Lorene, during our interview, I told you 
that we are happy to see a second year of victorious blue and yellow, and here we are. You've also won the competition twice, <laughs> 50 years since ABBA. Do you believe in numerology? And as a spiritual person, how can spirituality make art stronger and better for artists of the world? Beautiful question, darling. Love you. <laughs> well, creativity is spirituality, if you ask me. Isn't it interesting? What does it mean? We create something out of nothing. That's what we do. That's pretty magical, isn't it? And the thing is, when, when as a singer or whatever, as a creator, when you're in that moment, you don't really think, now do you? Where does it come from? It's a magical doll. <laughs> So for me, creativity is spirituality. Where I'm from, it, 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 it does things to us, you know. It's like a powerful tool. It can create movements. Look at John Lennon. Imagine all the people in the midst of a war, right? But it changed people. So art is our way of uh, expressing, and it's very spiritual because, it, you know, it, it makes us feel, it. yeah. So use it constructively, and collectively we can do some good constructive changes. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have uh, another question from somebody online. Uh, this is from Anna Maria Palea. Uh, she says, Lorene, first of all, congratulations for winning. Uh, what are your next goals or projects now you've won? Well, oh God. Well, there's gonna be some more music. Wow. Hey. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> and there's going to be uh, a tour, a Europe tour, starting November. I'm not supposed to say this. They're going to kill me, but hey. <laughs> 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 oh, God. <laughs> and then we have to see what life has in store for me. You think you can plan things, but you really can't. Look at me now. And unfortunately, we are getting the signals. We're going to have to end it there. Sorry if we haven't got to you. Obviously, we'd love to get to no. every single person. I know. We would love to get to you all, but we really, we really can't. Thank we you so much. Yeah, we just think that you want to celebrate, yeah? Get out of here and celebrate your... Are you kicking me out? <laughs> <laughs> yes. What am I having a nice I'm time? You what? <laughs> There's, I'm sure there's a drink or two waiting <laughs> for you downstairs, <laughs> I'm sure. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, once again, sorry if we didn't get to you. Oh but, God. ladies and gentlemen, please Sorry. give a round of applause for our winner oh. of the Eurovision Song Contest 2023, Loreen from Sweden. Amazing. Our winner. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank, thank you so you much. All. Congratulations. Yay. Thank you so much. That was all we have in Liverpool 2023. Oh. You. Done. We're done. Thank Yay. you. Thank you to you, Maria, as well. You Thank you to, to you, up, Jermaine. <laughs> yeah. Stand up. Let me get out your way, guys. I'm just thinking about this arabiata. That's what's going on in my head. Like I'm having that pasta, man. Yes. I'm gonna go into that to that kitchen and do the pasta myself. <laughs> if the chef is not there, okay? <laughs> okay, guys. What do we do now? Thank you for the flowers. What was that?
Please. <laughs> or party. Or party. Or party. <laughs> Find out. 